All right, I'm going to mention talk about the uh, Piganators here real quick. I unlocked them earlier tonight. I've been playing with them. I've really come to like them. Um, the Piganators take up 30 spots in your boat. They're going to take you about five minutes to train. Um, they've got some really decent stats. They start off with 4,200 life. And they will attack everything. Unfortunately, the operator isn't the smartest cookie in the jar. He'll go over whatever's closest and he'll just walk, make his way down the path. Um, I've got one currently in my troop build. My build's off at the moment. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're set up for the next attack. A maxed out tavern will only hold two Piganators. At the moment... I'm using a lighter mix than I normally do, but that's because I'm going through a lot of beer using the pigs. My boats are all maxed out, so I can hold a maximum of a 210 troops. So with the... Two pigs and 15 dwarves and 75, plus another 60 archers. I'm going to put another 40 here. That'll put me up to 100 archers for my next attack. I'm going to throw in some uh, wall breakers to open a path. That's 60, 120, 180. And 30 dwarves will round it out at 210. Now I'm going to find an opponent. And we will go from there. Alright, it didn't take me long to find an opponent. I'm going to attack First Sergeant Posh. What I'm looking for is I'm just checking out his defenses and his walls. Make sure that I'm actually going to be able to take him. And then I'm going to start dropping my cannon fodder. I'm going to drop... <coughs> One up here in the corners, that way, just in case there might be a dragon. That way, I'm not surprised later if something just happens to pop up. I'm using my hotkeys to select my troops. Uh, one for the archer, two for the dwarf, three for the breakers, and four for my pig. And the pig's basically he's a giant tank. He can walk around. He'll, he's going to take a beating from everything coming at him. Unfortunately, the pig just died against the uh, sorcerer's tower. So I didn't get to show too much of what he can do. Um, I like to have two in my party when I attack. That way there's a little bit more of a beating that they can take. But I've noticed that even with the uh, current system that we have for choosing attacks, I'm winning a little bit more often if I have the pigs in my lineup. But it costs me a lot more. And then after your attack... Um, you get your bonuses and everything else. Going back to the town, the uh, Piganators 
cost you right around seventy seven thousand or seventy yeah, seventy seven thousand for the initial unupgraded pigs. After you upgrade they're gonna cost you a little bit more. But it really helps to upgrade them as they will increase their strength, their speed, and even... Wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Sorry about that. Yeah, it'll increase their speed, their health, their damage, and their attack speed. It'll increase the critical hit chances, just like your archers. The pigs have a sm probably the smallest tree out of all of them. But as you can see, it costs four days to upgrade them, and it costs a lot, a lot more in beer than the other upgrades do. If you have any questions, feel free to make comments. Um, if you're a fire drake, comment on the guild page. Directly to the video will work. If you're not part of the fire drakes, then feel free to leave a comment on the YouTube page. And I will get back to you that way and make a video on whatever questions you might have. Or you can send me a message directly on the forums. I'm Corbell, and it should be fairly easy to find.